It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Pipeworks Brewing Company and it's a can of their premium Pilsner beer coming in at 4.9% ABV in a one pint American sized pint can. They're from Chicago in America. Love the wrap on this. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, there we go. I was at the Brewski Festival 2019, just about two or three weeks ago, and somebody came up to me and handed me a can of beer. One of the only cans of beer that was handed to us at the festival. We had some of the really good Brewski stuff on the boat. That was really good, some sour beer. Um, but this is the only beer from America. So when I went to the festival first off, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know whether there was going to be a lot of kind of cans and bottles flying around, that sort of thing. But turned out everything was on keg and somebody backhanded me a, a, a sly can of Pipeworks Brewing Company's Premium Pilsner. Here's a look at it. One finger white head. I've cooled this right down. I've had it out of the fridge mine a good 10, 15 minutes, just to warm it up a little bit, just to bring out some of the flavors in this Pilsner. Um, good levels of carbonation. Looks like a Pilsner. It's a straw colored, slightly hazy looking Pilsner. Let's get the aroma. It smells really good. Really, really good. I've been really enjoying my Pilsners at the moment. This is light, airy, malty. There's some hops on the back end, a little bit of maybe some traditional, maybe some German hops, maybe some Czech hops on the back end. We always read what's, what, what ingredients, if there are any written on the can, we read it later on. We don't want to spoil it for for you guys and us, really, and, and over here on YouTube, reviewing the beer. Let's dive in. Ah, oh, that is terrific. Terrific example of a Pilsner. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Exactly what I want. It's just lovely and light and airy and biscuity and malty and yeah, it's got some... The carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. I just like the fact that it's so cold. It's so cold, the beer, and it's just ultimately really, really refreshing. Good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Just barbecue beer. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue beer. So with it being a pint can, maybe it's five, six, eight, is it? I think the milliliter for a can, for a pint can. It says a pint can. Oh, it's got a lovely, a lovely bitterness on the back end. That's quite bold. It's quite a... A long bitterness, one of those bitternesses that just keeps staying with you and staying with you. But a very traditional bitterness, it's not kind of, although it's an American brewery, it's not a hop forward, American hop forward lager beer. It's, 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 it's a really good traditional, maybe some Herzbrucker or some Sars hops or something like that in there. But a real necker of a beer. This beer, you just want to smash it down. Four or five cans of this on the weekend. Just terrific. Just terrific. Artwork by Ryan Dugan. Brewed and canned in Chicago. I've never been to America. I'd like to go to America. Um, we've got the Surgeon General's note on the side. And there's nothing really written on the side to tell you what kind of hops are in the beer or whatnot. You can tell, judging by the look of the beer, great carbonation, great head, nice lacing, lovely look to the beer. 
it's re it's a really really good example reminds me of some of the really good german pilsners and czech pilsners i've been drinking all summer really i've i've i mention it again i don't mind i'm sure you don't mind either i've got a real soft spot at the moment for good pilsners let's rate it just so drinkable but i mean just chill this beer right down. Lots of flavour, refreshing, satisfying. You want another one, and that's that, that, that's a brewer's dream. When you tell a brewer you want another one, that's exactly what he's in the business for, is to brew a beer which you say, I want another one. Um, that's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10 from me. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.